Hi everyone, welcome to A Work in Progress. I'm Joanne and welcome to my weekly Sunday thrift haul. In today's video, I wanna share with you some things that I picked up at a little uh, thrift store in Wake Forest, North Carolina that sadly is going out of business. So yesterday they had a fantastic sale where everything up to $49 was 75% off and then anything $50 and more was 50% off. So I spent about $15, $16 on everything that I'm going to show you. And make sure that you do watch to the end of the video because uh, I'd like to know what your favorite find from this week was. And also I have two completed product projects that I want to share with you. A wreath that I made from a bicycle tire rim and then just a little floral arrangement that I made using a ladle. Uh, I had mentioned the wreath a couple of videos ago so I want to show you the completed project because I think it came out really pretty and it was very easy. So let's go ahead and get started with what I found. Um, first it was a set of these two canisters and I love these for not only food storage but I've also now been looking out for them to use in my craft closet to store various beads and and embellishments and such so these were in really good condition a little bit of corrosion you can see here on the latch but that is not a big deal and originally these were priced pretty well anyhow it was four dollars for the set of two but then 75% off of that and then I got that, let's see, I don't know how many times I went around that store, probably four times. I found this bag of, I haven't even opened it up yet, of old crystals that hang from lamps and such. So I don't know what kind of shape they are in, um, but for the price, I couldn't pass them up. I missed them on the first several times around, but I'm glad I spotted them my last time around the store. Um, these I'm probably going to put up for sale if I am going to sell anything on um, either eBay or Poshmark I will let you know what the items are got this little guy isn't he adorable and I do plan on making a pin cushion out of him he is from Anarcho Japan and it was originally sold in Johnson's Flowers Monroeville Alabama so I thought that was really, really cute, and it's in very, very good condition. Um, this is going to be a resale. thought it was just a super pretty mug. Life is a journey. Sorry about that glare there. With a little bicycle and the banner. Super cute. And this is a, mag a magenta. And it's a pretty good size mug. It doesn't say what size it is. But that's a pretty good sized mug and really cute graphics on it in perfect condition. So that I'll be putting up on Poshmark. And then this I got to make another pin cushion out of. It's super, super cute. And the great thing about making a pin cushion out of this is that it has quite a lot of storage in it, as you can see. And it's an older piece. It is in perfect condition. And it is... Uh, let's see, Maryland, China, made in Japan. You can see on the bottom. Oh, did that focus? There we go. And that was only $2 originally, so that was a pretty good deal. I picked up this little clown, and I'm going to do something with him. I'm not sure. He may end up sitting in a bathtub, a teacup bathtub. I'm not really sure yet. And this little guy little duck. Look at that cute little, whoops, there's his cute little face. <laughs> I'm going to take this off and clean him up, of course. He does not have any markings on the bottom of him, but you can just tell from by looking at him that he is an older piece, and this too I'll be making into a pincushion. I've got a lot of pincushions to make, guys. Um, this is a piece from Pampered Chef. And I know it's not a it's not a cookie cutter. It might be for making. Oh wait, there's, here we go. Oh, it is a cookie mold. Peace on Earth Heart Cookie Mold. So they have the directions and some recipes there. Perfect condition. Originally was only two dollars. 
and uh, this will be going up for sale too. I'm not sure if this is an item that would go on Poshmark or uh, eBay, probably eBay, I think. I'm not sure that this is, although it could meet um, the Poshmark's uh, kind of guidelines because it is a kitchen, so this actually might go up on Poshmark. So shipping turns out to be cheaper than eBay. I got this little guy as hopefully as a replacement. He did, I could not find the mate. But it is, you can see the marking on the bottom there. It is a little Fitz and Floyd from 1999, a Santa. And see, he, I don't know, three holes. I don't know if that's salt or pepper. Uh, he is hand-painted, adorable. So I will put him up probably on eBay as a replacement piece. Then I got this set. I love this set. I think it is so, whoop. There we go, so pretty. The colors are gorgeous in this. So it consists of this adorable little pitcher with the gold on the handle here. No markings, absolutely no markings on any of the pieces. And then this matching, I don't know, little saucer. So, so pretty. And then a larger kind of plate or bowl. And I fibbed, there is a marking on it, on this one. It's from Art Mark, original made in Japan. So all of those pieces are Art Mark pieces made in Japan. I think they're just beautiful, gorgeous set. And then I picked this up for my daughter, brand new, never used. It is a Boson from Boson Kitchen. And it's just one of those little uh, mixers that you put you know, down inside of things. And because she does love to cook. So as I said, brand new in the package, never used. I think she'll be pretty excited to get this. Now she'll just have to make me something vegan with it so I can, so I can um, enjoy it as well. Now, this piece definitely had no markings on it. And I don't know if it is anything, if it's worth anything, but sometimes pieces just kind of like they speak to you and that's what this one did. It's a beautiful vase. Is it cracked? Oh, please don't tell me it's cracked. It is cracked. Oh, darn it. I did not see that when I bought it. And that's one of my rules. See right there? That is one of my rules. Make sure you look over something really, really well before you purchase it. So I'm a bit disappointed in myself that I did not see that. And as you can see, absolutely no markings on it. I did plan on reselling this. I'm not going to do it with a crack in it. But I'll definitely keep it for myself because I just thought it was a beautiful vase. Could be milk glass. I'm not sure. With uh, And this looks like it was painted on. So this is going to end up staying with me. And this little guy, I'm going to use him in one of my, I think, in one of the little teacups that I'm making. Isn't, look at that little face. Isn't he gorgeous? He's so sweet. He was only a dollar originally. And I've lost my reading glasses, so I can't tell you what's on the bottom. But I can hold it up there for you, and you guys can probably go ahead and see that. He's so, so adorable. So what was he, 25 cents, I think? Picked up two of these, sweet as can be. I guess they're little demi tasse cups, a cup and saucer. Uh, and this is from Teddy. So I'll be making both of these into pin cushions, but with a variation because I want my pin cushions to be, you know, a one of a kind. So I got that, or those two rather. And then this piece I'm super excited about. And this was only $4 originally, really tall glass vase. There's a teeny, teeny, tiny little, they call them a flea bite, along the top here somewhere. And I'm going to wash this up, and then I'm going to fill it, I think, with Christmas bulbs at Christmas time. And the nice thing about it is that I can fill it up and just leave the Christmas bulbs in there and just take it out like this every year. So I really like that piece. <coughs> I got this little cute, cute little guy. He's a little dragonfly. Now, I know he's for a, a tea light holder. No markings on him. I know he is not old, but I saw him and I thought he, oh my goodness, something is tickling my face today, would make an adorable tiny little pincushion. He is so, so cute. 
Oh, there it is. I'm so sorry, everybody. It was a little fuzzy. Oh, I'm so sorry. And then picked up these two old bottles. That one, I mean, you see the cap is all yucky on that one. So I will wash those up. Oh, that's from Bayer Aspirin, that one. Can you see there? Bayer Aspirin. So I'll wash these up and put them with my other. Um, this one just says two fluid ounces on the bottom of it. I think that's it on the bottom. So they'll go with the rest of my old bottle collection. And then I finally, I mean, I've seen these out and about before, but I've not wanted to purchase one. So this was $5 and 75% off of that. So it's like $1.25, $1.25. And it's one of those insulator caps. And uh, there was a gentleman there with his wife. Uh, they were thrifting. They resell. And he said that he's never seen these in this color. So um, he had already scooped up all of them. And we just got to chatting and everything. And then he was very nice. He said, go through, go through what I have and just pick out one that you want to take. So I picked that one. So that's my first one. It will probably be my only one, but at least I have one now. Um, so let me see everyone. I think, yes, that takes care of everything that I picked up there at that store. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it didn't. I got, gosh, got this bag of doilies. So this ended up being 25 cents. If you can hear sirens in the background, I'm sorry. I have my windows open because it's really a beautiful day here. It's Well, it's overcast and and rainy, but temperature-wise is gorgeous. So they're just little doilies here. I thought these I could incorporate into the teacups as well. Uh, these are, let's see, the National Trust, made in the United Kingdom. So these must actually be older. They are coaster mats. They're just so pretty. But I thought if I starch these up and then put, the, you know, put a teacup on top of that, it would look really, really pretty. So I was happy to find those. And then I also got this bag of uh, ribbon and lace and such. And I just thought I could use that as an embellishment. And then I also found, actually the primary reason that I got this bag was for these two right here. They are brand new. Uh, but I saw on Pinterest where they made these little Christmas trees using cinnamon sticks and ribbon. And it was so, so cute. So I think those will make, you know, alternate to those. I think that would make a really nice little Christmas tree. So um, when I do that, I'll, I'll show it to you because it looks pretty easy to do. But that might be a little while just to let you know. That now is everything that I bought at that thrift store. My favorite piece that I found, it, it may sound silly, but it's actually going to be this bag of vintage crystals, lamp crystals, because I rarely see them. And when I do see them, they are crazy priced. So to find an entire bag uh, for, uh, I mean, less than a dollar, because it was 75% off of four bucks, I thought that was pretty cool. That's my favorite. Now, to the two fun pieces that I wanted to show you. I found this ladle a while back. I showed that to you in a thrift haul video. And a garland, and I can uh, link that video for you um, up above wherever <laughs> that is, where I found uh, those pieces. And uh, took the garland apart, and I made that just little arrangement. I think it came out really pretty. I like these flowers. They look kind of old and vintage to me. So I think it came out pretty cute. And then the really cool thing is, I think anyway, is the bicycle tire wreath. So it came out nice. So actually I want to put it like that. I mean, give you the whole thing here and then that's what it looks like, all finished and around. I didn't want to take it all the way around. I just wanted to do it kind of like a three quarters round. And this also came from that wreath that, um, or I'm sorry, from the garland that I took apart. And again, I love the vintage look of the flowers. 
really cute really pretty and this was a, like I said just a bicycle ring I had a rim I had seen these on Pinterest and I had been looking for a bicycle tire rim and they were really excuse me <coughs> they were really pricey but that one I found for two dollars so I was excited about that this piece I just want to mention that I had talked about putting a succulent in it but I'm in love with these flowers um, so this kind of goes more with me anyway so uh, that is it for today. If you enjoyed the video, uh, please let me know down in the comment section below and also give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed already, I would love to have you join my little uh, family here on YouTube. And until probably midweek, where I think I'll have another little midweek mini haul for you. Uh, as always, everyone, please take very, very good care of yourselves. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.